Salmon Cave Archives! Knowing and doing are two different things. Hey, welcome back to Airman Cave Archives. Tonight, I thought we'd take a look at some vinyl. Uh, these aren't just my records. These are ones that uh, I procured through my father's uh, collection as well. I can remember whenever I was younger and I was watching MTV and my dad kind of walked in the room and he's like, hey, you know, what are you listening to? I was like, well, there's this awesome music. And he's like, okay. And he sat there for a second and listened. He's like, man, Jason, come on. I was like, all right. And so we went to the bedroom and he opened up the closet. And there in the closet were two long rows of records. And he went through you know, a couple minutes, pulled one out, pulled another. And he goes, come on, let's go listen to these. I was like, all right. And uh, went and he throws a couple songs on. And I, th I think there was something Hendrix or Stones and you know, a couple others. I was like, wow, that, that's freaking awesome. I, that's some pretty good music. And he goes, yeah, that's music. And he's like, not saying that yours isn't. He's like, but that's, that's what my version of music is. And I was hooked at that point. Now, I bought a couple records, you know, that were of my era or my time. And so I was fortunate enough to be able to do so because a lot of those during that time frame, people didn't buy. They were always going for tapes and stuff like that or CDs. Without further ado, I'm going to go through, I'm not going to show you every single one of my albums, uh, just for the simple fact that some of them aren't that, uh, you know, great or stand out as a collection would be, but some of them that uh, pique my interest. Now, I like this one just for the simple fact it's still got the sticker price on it and uh who's going to argue with a dollar 77 on sale from four dollars and 79 cents but this is the animals with the uh house of the rising sun uh great album and again i kept it because it's uh, still in its plastic with the uh, price tag on it Now, the cool thing is, uh, whenever you're looking or collecting albums, sometimes what you want to do is the one-offs. And so this one is the Art of the Folk Blues Guitar. It's got an awesome sound to it, and it wasn't really that big of a production item in regards to how many copies that they had put out there. Now, in another episode two, I had shown you that my um, grandmother and my dad had different ways of thinking. I actually have the stereo as well as the mono track versions of a bunch of the albums, especially the Beatles because they both uh, enjoyed the Beatles. Oh man. So uh, one of my favorite TV shows is Wonder Years. And so this album for me, whenever I hear it, it always makes me think of the, uh, the intro to the show uh, with Kevin Arnold and Winnie. And it's uh, Joe Cocker uh, with a little help from my friends. Then you can get a hold of some pretty special ones. This is a Fleetwood Mac and it's the original master recording. So it's a different variation of the album. Then you've just got some weird off the wall ones. Uh, this is a round grapefruit. <laughs> and I get it because I assume that a grapefruit, once you cut it through, is a round. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, my dad had a, a taste for some, some good albums. Uh, this is actually the Madcap Laughs, Sid uh, Barrett. And I think this one's a, a bootleg. No, it's actually Tupcom uh, Records. 
but uh, my dad, whenever he would go over to Jamaica and stuff, he would pick up special ones from uh, specifically from Jamaica that were there at the studio and stuff. And it's got a big blunt on the back with some buds being lit up. Now, this is whenever we get to, into some of my goodies. This is actually uh, Metallica, For Whom the Bell Tolls. And these are the um, promotional copies. And we got Eye of the Beholder. So it's got a special little stamp that says um, promotional copy, not for resale. Got a little bit of Pearl Jam. And then I used to be a member of the Tin Club. And so back in the day, and they would send out little albums around Christmas time. And this is uh, Olympic Platinum from Pearl Jam. It's a little mini record. And my dad loved his stones. And so I've, I've shown you the bootleg album that he had. And then got bunch of other ones too but some more stones <laughs> uh, got a little bit of vanilla fudge and I thought this one was kind of cool not only because I like The Walking Dead but it's uh, the zombies and it actually has the sticker on it as well still uh, this record can be played on a stereo phono phonogram, special sale of $1.97. Check that out. I like the current ones because being a collector of sports cards and comic books and stuff like that, where they started putting out variant uh, versions, where what they'll do is they'll put um, different colorations and stuff in the um, pressings, and so you'll get red um, albums or... Uh, psychedelic uh, colored albums and that's kind of neat and of course you've got the greatest album of all time John Crow uh, Moonlight Existence that's me um, man I tell you if there's ever a song that you gotta listen to um, Lincoln Park, what is it, uh, One More Light? I actually saw this on Twitter and uh, had to pick a copy up. It's a Record Store Day exclusive, limited edition gold and black vinyl. And so they only did a, a limited quantity of these, but what a great song. And the funny thing is, I like it so much, I actually picked up the um, FYE uh, special dark green vinyl. Uh, version of the actual album, not the uh, live album. Then what you need to do is there's a, uh, I told you about uh, Vinyl Fly, the uh, folks out of uh, Amsterdam that'll do your records. Will... There's another group of people that you can do as well, um, vinyl wise, and it's called Vinyl Me Please. Uh, my wife had actually got me a six month uh, membership to it. Um, awesome because what they'll do is once a month they'll send you out an exclusive album and so um, you see there you've got the little uh, sticker that identifies them and so they'll do limited pressings like I think this album only had 300 uh, copies of it done but one of the big ones that I really enjoyed that I got from them was the Gorillas and it's a limited edition red vinyl. And if you look around like at uh, Second and Charles or Books of Million, I love me some BB King, but this is a dark translucent purple vinyl from the Cook County Jail. And of course, what record collection wouldn't be complete with some doors? And again, another limited edition one, uh, red vinyl, and that's got uh, some of their greatest hits. Hey, look at that. I'm even speaking of uh, Cook County Jail. Oh boy, too soon? 
uh, Bill Cosby and uh, uh, wonderfulness. Uh, not doing so wonderful now uh, with the Jello Pudding Pops, but I've got one of those uh, albums also. And if you'll remember, go back and watch the uh, Google It Sun episode. And I had to go pick up the vinyl copy of uh, Carol King's Fantasy so that I can listen to the direction song that my dad had asked me to play before he passed because obviously vinyl, I've got to be able to make that bridge. All right, now that you know about my record collection or vinyl, uh, do yourself a favor, go get yourself a Crosley uh, record player and obviously use some records that you're not wanting to use for uh, collectability purposes and give them a spin and uh, just listen to the, the sound of the music and the feel of it. And um, hey, thanks for stopping back by and we'll see you next time. M and Cave Archives! Knowing and doing are two different things.